me uh, do something here. Hold on. Got our eagles back out here. Got one there. And then uh, let me back up a little bit. Over to the other tree. And there's the other one. I don't know which one it was, but one of them was circling over the water like it was getting ready to dive. So I'm going to see uh, what happens here, whether they decide to do a little fishing or not. There you go up there. It's hard to tell exactly how clear the picture is because the view screen on this camera is so small. And I know when I zoom in like that across the water it really breaks up the pixels. So we'll just, uh, just to show you where they're starting from in case they do anything. Got one there, and that one over there. So, I'm going to zoom out and see what happens. That's where I'll be sitting. Got the chair um, in this uh, dog kennel that I use for storage. Uh, the eagles are right behind me to my back. And, Well, I came out here to the edge of uh, my, my dock there. I was going to come out on the dock because uh, it would have brought me a little closer to the, the two trees over there where the eagles were perched. but. The mighty majestic eagles got <laughs> got scared when I walked out here. I don't know they got scared, but they took off. They're uh, over in their trees. They're on the other side there. They're right in there. can't see it, I don't think, but there's a, their, their, their nest is over there. I think, yeah, I think that's it right there. But that's where they perched, over in those trees on the other side of the water there. So, i come back and please give you a scan of my, uh, waterfront here my backyard I call it there's my 69 there's my trailer I keep all my fishing stuff in used to be a camper That door keeps the chickens from walking over there during the summertime, but during the wintertime there's not much greenage over there, so can't stop them really. But they don't go over there, they're pretty good chickens, pretty good birds. Now see that, uh, that house there? Now if you go from that house, 
straight over to the end of that dike. So take a, a point from the uh, end of that dike there, shoot it straight across the water to that house over there, and that's mine. Beautiful sunset. Let me see you can't get them. Yeah, there they are. There they are right there. So. Okay, uh, I'm behind the house now because to go out on the edge of the dike I would be trespassing so I can't walk out there well I can but I mean there's nobody there but still I would be trespassing so here I am behind the house I'm going to give you an idea of uh, what belongs to me so we'll go uh, pan to the left there's going to be some uh, trees and shrubbery and stuff, but that's uh, on my property, and uh, like I said, it's hard to. Hard to see them back here because of the trees, but basically two acres of uh, water. And It's usually this area here is just filled with them galls. But because I'm out here, they mostly took flight. There's a couple brave ones that hung around. Uh, actually, I think there's another one. Yep, right there. There's a steel barrel out there. I don't know how it got there, but it's been there since I've been here. There's a bunch of them over here to the right. And there's a lot of them out there on the water. Like I said, there's a... Mia. All right, here we go. Find a clear spot. Show you the birds on the water. It's just amazing to live out here. I thank Jesus for it every day. Here's a shot of the house behind me, or next to me. It's a lady who lived here died. And the daughter didn't stay here. She went to Fostoria or someplace. But, uh, just not a whole lot here. Just, uh, about here, right here, is all there is. And then this spot here. But this is, like I said, this belongs to me. back out on the road so 
you can see there's the house. So what I'm showing you now is uh, mine. I gotta hurry up because I got about a minute left. And then the tape's gonna quit. Yeah, about a minute. So here we are coming into the opening. There is the uh, right out there is the end of the dike. say adios